change is a good thing. Nothing progresses without progression, without change, without growth, without going through things. And I get that, but I'm just, I'm at a place where at YouTube land, YouTube, it's been forever. What just happened here? That was very weird. So somebody stopped in the middle of my gate and just started chit-chatting about cans in the forest. They must be tw tweaking out. I have no idea. Hello, YouTube. And today is going to be interesting as I'm actually going to do an edible morning token talk kind of thing. I will try to take one hit out of a bowl, but it hurts so much, so let's go ahead and follow me. I'm going to get my brownie out of the fridge that I picked up from the collective yesterday. It definitely made a difference. Holy shit, it made I actually sleep. slept really good last night. Really good. Um, so what we're looking at is my collective bag. Yes, I know it seems funny to have a brownie in a bag, but it's I put it in a pour. So you, oh, it's an espresso brownie. No wonder it tastes like coffee. Espresso, because it did taste like coffee. Um, what I want to do, tell you guys very clearly, is it doesn't take much, and it usually now I figured out myself that it doesn't take much, like less than a quarter. That's like the size of a quarter pinch. Okay. Do this. This is hard to do one-handed. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hello, Jeff. To his fridge. So, yeah, I actually am having trouble smoking right now. Um, it just doesn't seem to be working as easy. Because the smoking causes me to have to cough. And then my incision starts breaking. And I've noticed I've started um, bleeding again after the 24 hours I, I was already home, which is not good. And it was fresh blood, so not good. So, um, I actually went ahead and ha I had a friend bring, well, a family member who's moved recently down here, um, which there will be some vlogs in the very soon future. Um, I can't really disclose everything right now, but I'll just say expect more vlogs very soon. Um, in a uh, nutshell, I'm basically going to be releasing some information future very soon, but I don't want to do that until everything's finally settled. But I will be having somebody staying with me for about a month, most likely, so that can help pay for some bills and potentially help me just around, just physically around the house. Um, and they would be renting out the grow room. so. It is actually a family member, and um, they actually just moved from another state to this area for several reasons, so it's kind of actually good to have it in the timing that all this is happening, but on the other spectrum of things, and I do like living alone, but I am very happy to be able to offer my cousin in the meantime, stay, who is also a very big advocate for the cannabis industry and will be trying to um, network with the right people out here. So being that I am so public about my cannabis use and all of that fun stuff, it makes sense to help me out in June. So June, I should still have internet, which is really actually awesome, but I don't know how many vlogs are going to go out. I expect it to not be on air on, in June, and I may still take a whole bunch of me time that month, but um, to have internet, thank God, I'll still be able to sell um, on eBay, which is great. So. Looks like that will all be happening approximately on the 5th, and um, thank God for that. So, um, it is kind of weird not to be able to smoke right now, because it, it's what I prefer to do, but then again, like I said, this pain was outrageous yesterday, and I almost stained it several times yesterday. Uh, almost in the shower, almost out, out of the shower. Um, Kiki, go lay in your bed. And, um, I'm not even doing anything strenuous, it's just, I was taking off the band-aid and 
I want to say it was the heat of the shower or because I was standing up in the heat. I don't, I don't know. I turned the, the temperature down and it was already too late. I was already very dizzy in the shower. Literally washed my hair and just got out of the shower and pretty much sat in this chair and then found myself waking up from already leaning back. So I guess I had already started to faint. And I was leaning back against basically all this equipment over here, which is pretty, pretty scary. And then found myself laying in the bed um, with my feet all the way elevated. And that was pretty much my day yesterday. And my camera wants to die, so let's go continue this battery in later today. But uh, this is the way it's going to have to go because my tablet is dead. Cannot turn it on, cannot charge it, have to buy a new cord. So I'm trying to sell things on eBay. But do this uh, lovely room is going to be completely empty and, very um, soon, just renting it out for a month so that I can still have electricity, <laughs> still have medicine potentially, um, you know, and somebody here that can help a little bit, so at least just financially right now. Um, so he's actually studying to be a caregiver in a lot of different ways. I'm just very, stuff, very, very, very pleased to know that he is taking me up on the offer. Um, there's a lot more that I will discuss later. There's some things I can't talk about until maybe July because of a bunch of things, but I'll be discussing as much as I can. So my camera wants to die. Oh my God, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this video. And look, on silly days, I do dress so silly. So I have a little sweatshirt on right now. I was just thinking, oh my God, I have incense and I'm gonna smoke a bowl with everybody. A lot's going on I'm not gonna be able to talk about, but I am gonna say, um, a lot's going on, so let me show you what I'm doing while I'm doing it, so it's not so freaking weird. Okay, so incense, where are you? There you are. So yeah, I treated myself to a few of them so that I have some sanity. So let me put the camera down figure this out. I'm thinking hey, heaven. Heaven sounds really good right now, so we're going to do that. Yes. Okay, so... I really need to get some easy way to record these videos. Alright, light the incense. You guys are going to get the fast version of this. <laughs> so we're burning. Hopefully it will work. Hopefully it will. Oh, it smells so good. I think it's going to work. Let's see. It's supposed to get like all red and ambery, and if it doesn't, usually it's not done. That is kind of what we want. So I'm gonna shut this so that the smoke will come back in my apartment. Um. So everybody, I've been doing laundry. I know, no dishes. So I actually okay. had a relative move in to help me around the house, and um, he will do an appearance at some point, but. My cousin moved in, and I'm very happy he did, because... That was very weird. So somebody stopped in the middle of my gate and just started chit-chatting about cans in the forest. They must be tw tweaking out. I have no idea. I guess the guy was going to throw his uh, can over the fence, and the guy said, no, you can't do that, you can't do that. I don't ever know. Anyway, so <laughs> it's never a dull fucking moment here. That's for damn sure. Um, it's all freaking close up. Sorry. Let's fix that. Hello. Hello, YouTube. 
So everybody, I have been actually kind of MIA for a lot of different reasons, but um, internet's going to be paid in a couple days, if not a couple days, then it will be paid soon, um, which means I will then be doing hopefully some more vlogs. Um, yeah, you just feel like doing the best you can. And there's so much I want to show you guys and do more of and there's a lot that I just wish I could talk about but I just can't right now because things are so up in the air but um, not feeling well and trying to cope with the fact that everything's so fucking crazy right now has been a little bit difficult. <laughs> so let's see if this will work. Can I... something here. Okay. Hold on a second. I've come to a place with YouTube where I'm going to have to adjust everything because apparently people want to use things against me, which it's not even rightfully so. It's just so much more energy they want to project rather than be supportive and I am coming to a place with all of this that I have been transparent and I continue to be transparent but there's a point in my life where I guess some things just have to be private and I hate to say that because apparently people just can't keep their fucking can't stay with reality it's ridiculous so I'm doing the best I can to continue to vlog and say hello to all you people but I'm not gonna lie I'm at a place right now where it's it's um uh, make or break moment and I don't want to stop vlogging but I have been completely wordless as I am right now that there's just so much I want to discuss and I know <clears throat> that the proper people need to be in place in my life for me not to be sharing too much so um, very 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 excited to um, to actually say there's some more support in my house, which is very important. Checking my Facebook if you guys are wondering. I'm at a very big crossroads in my life right now. The grief is definitely still present over Oliver, and Kiki is hanging in there. That's all I can really say. Um, it's a roller coaster with emotions the way that I've been feeling, so. I'm trying to still be happy because it's like there's so much that I just want to say fuck it all like seriously there's so much I just want to not care anymore because I feel like nobody cares enough so I'm trying to care for myself and the plant is doing beautiful outside give you guys a peek. <coughs> very well. Doing very, very, very so, well. So, as I said, there's a lot going on right now that I wish I could talk about, but it's just, it's like people can't fucking respect the fact that I'm doing all this very much alone the people that are in my life right now have been super supportive and encouraging and that is why I'm not giving up because there's got to be something good on the horizon you know there's got to be and I'm not a negative person at all but I am very realistic and I know that you know being as public as I have been and showing my life as it's developed in the good and the bad has been fulfilling and unfulfilling continually so um, I've had relationships where I've gotten very close to certain people who are potentially even still watching um, and yet we're not associated anymore which is just disturbing to me because you know my support has never been unwavering yet there's so 
so much I want to talk about, but I feel like I'm at this place right now with YouTube where I need to really reevaluate how I want to reflect um, what I'm willing to share and what needs to be people who want... How do I put this? I'm not going to do it for anybody but me. And I feel like a lot of what I've done has been to try to share what's going on. And I have done that. And then yet it's backfired in my face because people don't respect the fact that it's very hard to go there. To go to that place of um, vulnerability and, you know, to make yourself hard to out to be potentially judged or potentially um, scrutinized for just things you may not be able to control. And my health is not improved. My health has gotten worse. I'm having serious mobility issues. I'm having major problems concentrating. It's medication induced and it's also very much my illnesses just doing this to me, causing life to be a little bit more difficult. And, you know, I've had to make a real decision of what do I share and what do I not share because when I'm really raw, I get a lot of good response. But when I'm also, you know, just sincere about what's what's the struggle it's like some people just don't get that that's not easy no, to share I'm, I'm literally sharing my soul when I make videos so to have such a, a confliction of people who think it's like somehow in the universe I made videos directly for that person when it's it is I am a, I'm calling out to the universe of other people who are dealing or have some kind of pulling towards my videos then watch them but I do not make videos for any specific soul out there except to share what's going on in my own truth and I feel like that's just been just scrutinized and misunderstood that maybe I'm I'm looking for some kind of um how do I put this attention of any sort in that way and that's just so far from it um I have actually reflected now and realized that a good portion of people that I have communicated with on YouTube have been completely phony. And that has been really disheartening because I am still the same person, even off camera. Yet there just seems to be such a huge emphasis on being interested in someone who might be actually honest. But there's also a huge emphasis on somebody making sure you find a weakness in that person and bringing them down to a, a negativity that makes them feel bigger. And that's just not right. And that has been happening for the last year and a half. I've had good relationships with friends out there and then found out that their true colors were the most phoniest people I've ever met. And that has actually made it very hard to continue to make a good portion of videos because I've gotten so much weird feedback from weird people. And, you know, the emphasis of actually being on YouTube is very hard to do when even yourself don't know what's up along the road. And I do this for so many reasons, not just for expressing what's going on. So, it's not like I made a video that's supposed to communicate directly what someone else is feeling out there. You may have similarities to the way that I feel, or you may personally understand. Or you may not at all. And if you don't, just because you don't, and it's not mean that they're, you're broken or I am broken. That ref, uh, projecting upon what other, what other things the person, you on the other li line of this video, the other side of the screen, may actually look at this and say, you don't understand, well then that's fine. But does that mean that I'm broken because you're not understanding? No. It's farthest from the truth. So... I'm I'm at 620 plus subscribers and that blows my mind. I have been slowly pulling myself away from YouTube over the course of the last I'd say 6 months straight because in the last 6 months straight I've met phony after phony and developed relationships with people where I have to just double take everything I know about them. And that breaks my heart. It also brings me to a place where I've also learned that, you know, I can continue to be myself and I'm going to continue to meet people who are phony and unfortunately it's like I said I'm bait to people who don't even know how to be real it's like they want to understand what real looks like for their own enjoyment yet they're not real and, and I just feel like this disheartening of it 
I, I almost pity those I feel like it's such a sadness that I can't have relationships with people who can't respect other people's personal experiences in life I just feel like that's just such a hard thing to digest that it's almost like you know you have a family member and you can't help them I can't help the people out there who want to go into YouTube and not be themselves. That's their own fucking choice. But my problem, my interest in all of this is having relationships with people who I then find out are completely phony. And then I find out patterns that they're phony with other people that I have relationships with on YouTube who are not phony. And the unphony people, the, our bonds are stronger than ever for the very fact that they're real all the time. If you are a character on YouTube, then make that clear make that clear don't don't play games with people don't abuse friendships that absolutely are time effort and love and care towards a person and it's like a different kind of breakup <laughs> when you deal with and I've come to land come to this realization that I will always have a guard up now and I will always continue to be myself it's pretty much been the same rules except the guards a lot taller now <laughs> it's not a it's not a baby gate. It's a full on fence. <laughs> and that's because I can't. I can't do it. I can't do this wheel me in so you can analyze me. That I'm actually fucking real. You know, or that I'm not perfect. Or that you have a, a vision that I am one thing and then another. And there are good portions of people who are so subscribed to these videos who are those people who I'm talking about. So it's like really hard for me because the ones who have actually reached out who are real people in my life who are awesome people in my life you know I, I could go down the list but there, there has just been a surplus of positive support too so that's why I know that I can't go anywhere right now I can't leave I don't want to leave even this earth <laughs> you know but I'll tell you it's very difficult to try to function on your own level and then try to function in society where people are so judgmental and they're just picking you apart what are you not to this level what, why are you not to my how do I put this even I mean oh, how do I put this how is that how is that positive for anybody to break anybody down I mean I just don't understand it I just don't get it so I'm trying to I'm trying to remember that there are a good portion of people out there who are just totally dis disconnected with life. And for that reason, I can't stop doing what I'm doing for my own sanity because I don't want to be amongst completely fake people. You know, you can't lose yourself in other people's actions. And it's like, you know, on YouTube where you're being public and you're consistently who you are, and then these consistent fakers come into your life it's almost hard to not accept the bait do you know what I mean it's it's so hard because I'm looking for you know absolute understanding that I'm not perfect that I don't have everything figured out I don't know what 10 months from now holds I have no idea I am doing what I can with my body every single day to get through the day the resources and the people in my life, they mean a lot to me because it's what keeps me going. And, you know, my definitions of life and the way that I look at life is, is not negative. It's actually quite positive because it's what keeps me going. If I was living in a negative thought process, we'd have been gone ten years ago. That's saying something. So... The things that are constantly changing around me, I understand that they're paths to new directions in life. I understand that that's what opens new doors. I realize that without change, nothing would change. Change is a good thing. Nothing progresses without progression, without change, without growth, without going through things. And I get that, but I'm just, I'm at a place where at YouTube land, I have got to pull the pole back. I've got to put the fence a little bit higher. You know, and I am going to be as transparent as I can through this process of realizing that, you know, YouTube has got a 
cesspool of negativity and a cesspool of judgment and a cesspool of fakers. I don't want to be part of that, but I want to be part of YouTube. So that division of people who are transparent and people who are not, I'm learning. <laughs> I've not figured it all out, you know. I expect to I get expect a lot of criticism. A basket full of criticism in regards to people who think they've got it all figured out and somehow they're superior to anybody who's not like them. That just bothers me. It hurts me. It really does cause pain. Because I feel like, you know, to please everybody in life, you're never going to be happy. You're never going to completely be fulfilled. It's not going to please everybody. It's, it's really, truly one of those things where apparently we're supposed to feel pain through all this. It's a lesson. So the transition that I'm at in my life right now is not comfortable. It is not understood. I have no idea why I'm going through all this right now. I am aware that there's a major shift in the universe right now. I can feel it. And it's very present around a lot of people who believe a lot like me. That, you know, the good and the bad come just like waves. In and out. In and out. It's a carousel of life. It goes up and down. I get that. So the down moments, I have to realize, that means there's a good time coming. Some point. You know it can get worse, but it has to get better at some point. So trying to be positive that, yes, YouTube feels like a huge roadblock right now of, I'm not even sure how to make my vlogs right now. I haven't even smoked hardly with you guys. I don't think at all. Because it's just, there isn't anything I could have done differently. There's nothing I could have done differently to this process of being on YouTube and sharing my life with you guys. There's nothing. So with that being said, all I can continue to do is to be who I am. Go with the rides of what's happening in my life on a different spectrum I cannot apparently share with you guys. And that's bothersome. The medical side of things, I'm not sure what the test results are for my liver and all that fun stuff. I will share a little bit in a moment. There was a lot that had happened during the biopsy that I will don't have energy to talk about again right now. Um, in the last few days leading up to my cousin moving in and me having to deal with a whole new hurdle of things um, that I can't discuss right now, but I will hopefully in the future, has brought me to a place where I have to just be honest and the honesty I'm just sharing with the world right now is that I do not feel like I'm being respected on a lot of different levels and I also feel like I'm being pushed to go a little bit more internal than external and that's very hard for me because it's important for me to release as a Libra I sit there and think about shit so YouTube's really beautiful for me to be able to be really transparent and to have a copy of how I feel. Literally dated. Literally public. Here is how I feel, world. This is what's going on. If it's physical, mental, whatever. Emotional, whatever. So I really do love the community that YouTube is and I don't want to go anywhere. But I do feel like because I'm not to a standard of someone else, I am somehow under someone else. I am less desirable. I am unsuperior to what the concept of YouTube and cannabis may be or concept of YouTube and illness may be or the concept of what an artist may be or a concept of from somebody who's spiritual as I am. So all these things that I share on here I get such mixed messages and yet I get a ton of support new subscribers every day so I have to remember and I've been trying to remember this because this has been a very hard video to make <laughs> getting through it three clips now I'll have to edit all this is that I expect this journey to continue but in a strange way because it is what it is I'm going to be as transparent as I can as how sick I am it's very difficult it's very very difficult because Nobody wants to remember how bad they feel, but yet on the other hand, with my circumstances, it's got to be out there for so many reasons. And without making these videos now, the future will not be able to be as bright with me being able to compare. 
to, you know, really literally look at it all. And that's why I'm doing all these videos. That's why I'm sharing this growing experience and how I feel. And, and you know, the criticism has been strange. It's almost gotten to a personal level. At first, when I was in YouTube land, YouTube land, it was very direct and in my face. And then it became very personal and, and sneaky private, where it seemed like people would literally go out of their way to develop relationships with me, so they then could mock, do whatever they needed to do to, to make them feel like they were superior to it. Where this is not a com competition. I am not trying to win over anybody. Every single U YouTube subscribe click that has happened has been organic and I love that and I want that to be that way. I want it to be the right people coming here and getting to know me and my journey. It is what it is. So the dynamic of where I've had to actually like question friendships that are actually personal now in my life has really affected me. Really, really affected me. I could deal with breakup after breakup, but I can't deal with friendships that become so toxic. You have to question their sincerity. That's really not okay. That's not something to just brush over, you know. Um, the funniest part is. I think the biggest supporters through all of this have actually been non-smokers, which is just totally blows my mind. The good pe portion of people who actually support the fact that I'm not, you know, I'm not using narcotics, but I am using cannabis, but yet they may not be doing it. Those people have actually been the biggest supporters. Why? Because they actually fucking know me. They're not judging me because of this. They're not um, putting the concept of what um, a cannabis user should be on a pedestal in the image of YouTube. I am not Coral Reefer. I respect what she does. Here you know, Mark's in Colorado. He's got a different way of thinking. There are tons of YouTubers out there, including oh, Ashley, lovely. Sis, um, you know, who have also, they're on their own path, and I respect it completely. That's the way it should be. But yet, somehow... The judgment's okay for somebody who's ill and actually using this as a medication. I don't get it. So, you know, I, I go back and I look at this whole perspective of what's next for me in YouTube. And I think I'm going to need to figure that out in this time. The videos will come out as often as I can, as I've said from the beginning. I am highly considering getting rid of my P.O. box from some ways, yet I also feel like the P.O. Box is really necessary for a lot of different reasons, so continue to make videos that will be as organic as I can. And I welcome anybody who subscribes new and anybody who's here supporting me to verbalize that. Thank you. I really love the comments and the support, and I've had a hard time getting back to a lot of you. But yet, I sincerely appreciate you guys taking the time to comment, to like the videos, and to share them. So, if you are a YouTuber, or have ever put yourself on a public scale, and experienced any of the things I've talked about, that's who I want to comment below. If you deal with scrutiny about being open-minded to spirituality, or anything else, you know, please comment below. I want to hear from you. Um... Do not expect everybody to take this video completely positively. I expect the people who are here over and over and over being negative to be who they are. They're negative, so they're going to leave negative comments. Until they figure that out, I shouldn't have to eat their bullshit, and I won't. So this video had to be made. It was very difficult to make. <laughs> Having finished the bowl, so let me finish the bowl. I just want to let you guys know, I'll make videos as soon as I can and as often as I can, but in the meantime, thank you guys for being here, and stay tuned for more videos, and um, I will share as I go. Miss Chronic Chronicles is going to do the best she can to share as I go.
I have ordered my cord, my charger cord. Um, it's actually this cord. Looks like an iPhone cord or an iPad cord, but it's not. So this is supposed to be here any day. It should even be here today. And so as soon as that comes, I will start making more videos because I can actually see myself. Like right now, this is hit or miss, hit or miss. Um, but thank you guys for being here, and stay tuned for my next video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Yeah, let me let you guys go. Have a good day. I will vlog more. All right. Bye.